The gear assembly is a major component of your cordless drill. The transmission has a series of gears that increase the amount of torque the drill produces. The transmission has two torque settings and a selector to change between them. The clutch is adjustable and allows you to set it to cut out at a specific torque. This is helpful when driving screws to a specific depth. Over time, the transmission will wear and eventually fail. Often a failed transmission won't drive at all in one torque setting, but will still work on the other. A failed clutch might not slip at all, slip constantly, or slip at a lower amount of torque than it should. Replacing the gear assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the chuck from the drill. First, I'll remove the chuck screw. It's reverse thread. With the retaining screw removed, now I can remove the chuck. First, I'll set the transmission to the low setting. Then I'll take a large Allen wrench and chuck it into the chuck. Now I'm going to quickly strike the Allen wrench with a mallet. The sudden force will break the chuck free. Now I'll remove half of the housing. Now I have access to the gear case and motor assembly. Next, I'll lift this assembly away from the housing just enough so I can separate the gear case from the motor. As I do this, I want to be careful that I don't lose the two springs on the back side of the selector. Now I can begin installing the new gearbox. There's a small pin that fits onto the spring on the selector tab. That pin needs to fit over one of the two springs on the selector. To do this, I'll place the pin inside the spring, then compress the spring with the tab as I slide it back into the selector. And now this is ready to go into the housing. Now I'll reinstall the gearbox onto the motor. I align the gears and slide the two together. I'll align the gearbox with the housing and snap it into place. Now I'll reinstall the housing. And secure it with the screws. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the chuck. I'll use the Allen wrench to hand tighten the chuck. 
and I'll secure the chuck with the retaining screw. I'll place it inside the chuck and thread it into place. And again, remember that it is a reverse thread. And that's how you can replace the gear assembly in your drill. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.